This video is going to calculate the final velocities for objects that are undergoing an elastic collision. In the elastic collision, momentum is conserved and kinetic energy is conserved. There are a set of equations that already have done the algebra of uh, the two conservation laws that I'm making use of here. So if you're not familiar with those equations, you should look them up or look in one of my previous videos of uh, uh, Chapter 8, OpenStax College Physics with uh, conservation of momentum and elastic collisions and that equations in there. So we have 0.4 kilogram uh, uh, very hard object so it'll have an elastic collision traveling west at 4 meters per second. We have a 0.7 kilogram hard object traveling east at 3 meters per second. The uh, positions are such that in the future they will have a head-on collision and it's elastic in this problem. We're going to ignore friction so without friction, we have no external net external force, and uh, momentum will be conserved, and we're claiming it's kinetic energy conserved, so we can use those special equations that have been developed. So for the first object, we use the velocity of the first object, we subtract the masses of the two objects, and it's important that you follow that equation and get the uh, uh, correct substitutions for the, for the masses, m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2, the total mass here. And then the second term is the second velocity. It's important that you pay attention to plus and minus signs. I set up the problem with 4 meters per second as the positive direction. So I have to put in a negative 3 meters per second here. And then it's double m2 in that expression for this equation and divide by the total mass. So doing the calculation, we're going to get a negative term here, we get a negative term here, and we end up minus 4.9 meters per second. And uh, students should uh, double check this and uh, see if they can find that equation and see if they can uh, find out how to substitute in here correctly. But we have object one rebounding, now traveling at 4.9 meters per second to the left. So what's the uh, velocity for object two? Well, for the second equation, again, we start with the, uh, the value of the uh, velocity of the first object. We double the mass of the first object, divide by the total mass. There's a minus sign always in this second equation, calculating the velocity of the second object. Then we put in the velocity of the second object. That's carrying its own minus sign. We subtract m1 minus m2. That's another minus sign. And divide by 1.1, the total mass. We end up now with uh, 2.09 meters per second. It's also rebounded, not traveling quite as fast as object one. That's a general trend. The smaller object has more velocity. But uh, the equation that is being used here is a combination of conservation of momentum and conservation of kinetic energy. Saves a lot of, uh, of work if we can just plug into that equation, but you should understand the principle. Momentum is conserved and kinetic energy is conserved. How could you verify that kinetic energy was conserved here? Well, we have the masses and we have the original velocities. Do one half mv squared for each of them and add them up. We have the masses again and the velocities. So do one half mv squared and add them up and you'll find that you get a, uh, the same number. Keep practicing.